Good morning you guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a bit of a clean and decorate with me for Easter as Easter is coming up real soon. I also want to show you guys some arts and craft ideas that I've picked up from interest, interest, sorry, Pinterest with the boys. I'm going to do some crafts with them today while they're home with me. I also want to show you guys what I've been picking up for their Easter baskets. So maybe give you guys some ideas or just show you guys what I've been grabbing along the way. So I've been waiting for bin day to come along to do this video as we have quite a few like cardboard boxes, toy boxes and like wrapping paper and everything from Kyrie's birthday still around the house that I need to get rid of. Our bins filled up super quick. So I've been waiting to get rid of all that. So the house doesn't feel so cluttered and messy and then I can get into a bit of a clean and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video let's get into it so we're going to be focusing on the kitchen area and the living area we just had Kyrie's um, birthday party on the weekend with our family and friends and there was a lot of people here you guys a lot of kids playing around so it definitely needs a good clean Worried you blow my reputation But if you get it's not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver Your yeah. hands on my silver I keep pulling the trigger, alright This very finger for people like them Oh, no, no When I lay on my mind I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown world and high
finished up with all the cleaning that I wanted to get done today. I've wiped down everything um, and put out a very small amount of decorations that I ended up getting for Easter. The boys love it though. The boys are just having some lunch and I have some... I know. Um, the boys are just having some lunch and I just put some pasta on for myself. I put some of this Rana pasta on. This is the best brand of like tortellini and like raviolis and stuff in my opinion so good so i'm about to have that um i also picked up these it's like an easter pack for cupcakes so cute and if you've been following me for a little while you guys would know we love making cupcakes in my house like i feel like we do cupcakes for like every like is it like a holiday every holiday we do like themed cupcakes so we love it so i'm probably gonna pull these out a bit closer to easter maybe the day before or something um but once we've finished our lunch we will then jump into the crafts that i'm gonna do with the boys okay so i'm just getting everything ready for our arts and craft this is what we're going to be doing super easy i got this idea off pinterest and i thought it'd be really cute um so this is all you really need i have some craft paper here with all different colors we just need the orange and the green then i have some kids scissors for them both some white paper i already had this red and yellow paint so i'm going to mix this up to make an orange just on this paper plate here and yeah we're going to do their footprint first so that can dry. Okay, so we're gonna put your foot in the paint and then put a footprint on the paper. Come put your foot in the paint, Kai. Just one foot, one at a time. Hang on, one at a time. Okay, hang on. Let me push your foot down. Okay, now lift it up and put one footprint. Watch out, King, watch out, King. Okay, hang on, let me put this down. Can you see foot? Cool. Okay, put your foot down on here. King, your turn. Just leave it on there, guy. Okay, gotta put your foot on here. Okay, only one. Yep. <laughs> Don't fall over. Okay. Let me just push down your toes. Leave it, Kai. Leave it. Just stand there. Okay. Now. Oh. Okay, lift your foot up. Oh my goodness. Okay, go stand on the grass over there. On the grass. <laughs> so there are Kyrie's footprint and King's footprint. Um, what do you if the plant I don't know what I'd do without you 
Those little foot carrots just turned out super cute. I'm so glad we did it. It was so easy and fun for the boys to do. So that's one Easter craft that you could do with your kids at home. Super easy. You don't need too much stuff to do it with. And I just put their names and the year. These the Easter back. baskets have been hiding out for the past year. There's like odd socks in there. So... I used these ones last year and I'm just going to reuse them again this year. Um, they're pretty big. I forgot how big they were, but I'm going to empty this top one out and bring them out. I also have these little plastic ones from the year before. Um, but maybe these can just be if we do um, an Easter egg hunt or something, these can be for that and then this will be for their actual Easter baskets. I'm standing here laughing because I totally didn't realize how big these were. I completely forgot um, so I don't have enough stuff. So I probably won't fill these up today but I'll show you guys what I have so far. This is like sort of broken. Um, but I definitely need a few more packs of these to fill up the bottom of the basket. Um, so I just have like these little smarty filled Easter eggs, I guess. Um, I have these stencils. There's four in there, so I'll split it up and put two each in each basket. The boys will love these because they love drawing and stuff. So um, I just have these smarty filled eggs. Sorry, Kingston almost walked in. Um, I have these jelly bean carrot shaped sort of candy. The boys had these last year and they loved them. Um, then I just have these little bunnies. I think you spin this little thing here and they jump around. Um, and then this little Kinder Surprise, like it's like a mix of the Kinder Surprise things in there. So I don't think I'll be getting any more chocolate or candy. I'll just get like a few more things like this to fill up the basket and definitely some more of this shredded tissue. I also found these bunny footprints. I don't think the boys are going to fall for them, but I think it would be super cute if I put these out on the floor leading up to their Easter baskets on Easter morning. So I'm going to do that, but definitely need a few more things. I'm thinking a new water bottle or something like that because both the boys need a new water bottle. So I had all intentions of filling up these baskets with you guys in this video but since i'm going to be grabbing a few more things i think i'll save it for probably my next video so keep an eye out for that i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye